Well, I think it's about time to head home. I'm going to show you that uh, pile of rocks for the snake you there in a second there. Around here, and here, and here. So this supposedly is old uh, slate and shit there. And they had dug a mine pit up here probably well over 30 years ago. Where they dumped all the rocks they dug out of this. But you can you can look around in here down there farther and uh, just sit there all day on them rocks pick through and find uh, find that old rusty quartz and there's you usually has a little gold in it a little piece of quartz right down there let's see oh, fucking hell fucking heavy for now. Get you next time. Now this is where I found that I don't even know what it is. I'm going to put a video up on it later on. It's a, kind of like pyrite. But it don't look like pyrite. It's a little bit like silver. But he mine tested it with a metal detector and it shows up silver iron, silver and iron. That's it. So I'm going to put it on so anybody knows what it is. I mean, I kind of know my rocks to myself. I wouldn't write a book on them or nothing. But uh, go around. I, I sat in here a few times, way back up there. I think I say, the goddamn snakes. Here, they're fucking humongous. They're three feet long, big around as your arm, and they swallow a, a bloody egg. And, you know, <laughs> I don't think your two arms. I got, I got bit by one here one time. I'm trying to, I had one of my kids down here. He was only probably 12, 12 years old. It wasn't a big snake, it was still a snake, and uh, he was trying to catch it, so I told him here I'll show you how to pick them fucking things up, so I grabbed it by the tail, and it come up and bit me on the thumb, and, uh, I was doing a shit of a time trying to get him off him, scared the hell out of me, from there on in I don't uh, <laughs> I don't bother with them at all, but in here, with, especially right now, I'd be waking up. But, uh, this this goes goes quite a ways. Goes way back in there, down in here, and over here is uh, quite a bit of quartz down in there. I say you can dig around here if you want to spend a day in here. You'd probably find a few buckets. It's not too bad. It's nice today. It's nice and warm. But, uh, there were some black flies around there for a while, but it's still kind of early for them. It's still only mid April. Next month, uh, they'll be swarming you. There's some quartz down there, too. <clears throat> now as we go over here it gets a little more quartzy and you can see back in there there's another big pile and there's probably one, two, Three, there's probably three more piles back in there again that are really big, real high. And down in there, if you ever feel like walking through it, 
and, uh, pulling the moss off some of them rocks. You get some pretty good oak crops of quartz in there. So, anyways, guys, it was a pretty good day. Almost skunked, but I got a bucket full of pretty nice quartz. And a little small piece showing some gold. It's the first time I've, I've ever just found one little piece. You usually get three or four you know, nice pieces. It's almost skunk today. There's a nice one right there. I'll pull that out one day. I thought I was lost there for a minute. There we go. Nice in here, nice and quiet. You don't even hear any birds in here. It's like a one of them little concentration camps. No birds. But there is bears. Coyotes. When it starts to get dark, you hear them howling, getting closer to you. But uh, I have a little surprise in my pocket for them guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's, this is. This used to be a. Uh, this used to be a pretty high pile, it was kind of sunk down over the years. The other ones back, back farther in there are really high. You could spend, you could spend more until dusk in there, just moving rocks around. Civilization here in a minute. I'll show you that uh, quartz I got here. watching. I'm going to try and get home. Stay up the road there too. You can, a couple little streams and be good for panning and stuff like that. So, I'm off for tonight. Bye guys. See you later.